just about impossible to come to the UK and not think about the world's most famous spy, Bond, James Bond. Well, here I am deep in the English countryside searching for a top secret location where I'm told I can learn the art of espionage. Guess I found it. Welcome to Spy Call, Gary. Here we offer people the opportunity to enter the exciting world of espionage and spy training. First thing we're going to look at... At number 30, you've got to have a go at some 007 action. And the place I'm trying is Spy Games out of Northamptonshire. For just under $500, you can indulge yourself in your very own action movie experience. Get him up, 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 get him up. It's a must try, even if you're not a 007 fan. OK, Gary, so welcome to our weapons section. I know there's something you're very keen on. Being an actor, you've fired a lot of guns before. Yeah. Obviously, we've got a variety of different weapons that we're going to show you today. Two weapons in particular, though. Good old automatic assault rifle and also a pistol. The uh, special agent weapon of choice, obviously. Taking me through the paces is Dave Thomas, a former SAS agent who's seen plenty of real-life spy action. Get him up, 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 get him up. Of course, part of the whole action hero thing is packing heat. But no one gets hurt here. We're talking gunge. Freak gunge. Nice. And again? Good. And again? Push it forward. Away you go. Good. Good headshot. Got him. The action really kicks in when you're thrown behind the wheel of a hostage rescue. The evasive driving was a bit of fun, actually. That got my uh, heart rate beating. Turn, turn, turn. Gas. Well, the J manoeuvre is a pretty nasty manoeuvre. You've got to fang it backwards in the car, get to a speed of about 40 or 50 k's, then rip the steering wheel hard to the left, spin it, change it into drive, and fang it away. So you burn plenty of rubber. It's, it's really good fun. It all started a few days earlier when we enrolled at a top secret spy school, a real life MI High. We were going to be pushed to our limits to find out which of us had what it takes to succeed. None of us knew where we were. And none of us knew what lay in store. My name is classified, but you can call me D. Blindfolds off. Welcome to spy training. Good luck. You'll need it. Next up, code breaking. Could we decode clues to defuse a ticking bomb? OK, eight One, minutes left. You've got eight minutes only. One is not... Not long. Yeah. Uh, it's not red. The first break is not red. OK. So it's Q, O... Q. It's ticking. Six minutes left. We've got six Unplug minutes left. Unplug black, Six. but not first or last. 32 seconds. <laughs> And Seven not seconds, that. Six and not seconds. Three. Don't plug next to blue. And blue, yellow. blue, blue, pull the blue. <laughs> oh! You had two. exactly two oh. seconds left on the clock. The spy, you might need to evade capture. So you camouflage yourself up. Use the natural surroundings that you've got. Camouflage yourself up. Go. Yeah. Four S's. Shape, shine, shadow, silhouette. You're breaking up that shadow on your face. You're breaking up the silhouette that you're going to create by going into the natural surroundings. Utilise that. Have some elastic bands. Okay, right. Put this to my head. Get some of this foliage. I'm going to be absolutely amazing at this game. Right, Helen, you're looking good. Oh. <laughs> Can you see me? D sent in his agents to test our new camouflage skills. We didn't stay hidden for long. Oh, man. Spotted. Honestly, how did you know? Guys, what are you doing? Right, where's Helen? She's in here somewhere. I can say it's really obvious now. Oh, yes. Good job. To be a team? <laughs> they might not find you still. This spying business might seem like fun, but what Dee had in store for us next would push us to our very limits. Blue Peter Spies, your final training mission is in the envelopes in front of you. Your objective is to take delivery of the top secret master tape of the new MI High trailer and transmit it to the nation. Your contacts will be agents Rose and Carrie from MI High. The agents will be arriving at the location with a briefcase which matches this one. Swap the briefcases without being spotted and await further instructions. 
But my envelope held a different mission from Andy and Helen. Joel, do not react to this message. You are now a double agent. The MI High trailer tape must not be broadcast. You'll be on your own, but be warned. My spies were watching your every move and judging you. And that's how we found ourselves here at the station, in disguise and undercover. Some more undercover than others. As a double agent, I would be secretly working against my fellow spies. I've got the alternative tape here. And if I can swap this tape with the one that's about to be delivered, instead of an MI High trailer, there'll be a Joel to Free super spy trailer after the show. <laughs> Helen would signal when Rose and Carrie had arrived in the station. None of us could let on that we were expecting them. Right, we're on. We're on. OK, the agents. OK, they've just dropped the briefcase. Briefcase is down. Andy's now looking over. He needs to swap them now. He needs to make the move. What was he waiting for? Andy still has made no move. An agent who I don't know has just picked up the briefcase. Agent I don't know has just picked up the briefcase. What you... Uh, the spy had come out of nowhere. Luckily, Carrie and Rose knew what to do. Guys, the mission has changed. You must follow the target and retrieve the case containing the tape. But remember, don't let the spy know that you're tailing him. Good luck. And remember, a good spy sees, but is never seen. I can see the car. Can you see the man? Any movement in there? There's no movement. Joel was too busy being a hero to notice the spy cameras watching our every move. Right, listen. There's a suitcase in the back seat. You go and look in the back of the car. Keep you keep an eye out that way. If I don't make it back, you were great spies. Me. You. <gasps> it's there. It's in the car. Keep an eye out. Keep the mystery spy had been careless. He'd left the stolen briefcase on his back window. Yes. Briefcase back in safe hands. But maybe it was all just a bit too easy. Hold on, hold on. Guys, guys, I've got a message. Well done, agents. You've retrieved the tape, but you need to get out of the area fast. At the crossroads, head east until you reach the hut. Do not lose your bottle. Right. There's a car coming, there's a car coming. You're not going to hide, hide, hide. It was too easy. We'd walked straight into a trap. <laughs> These men headed off into the distance. The course was clear for now. I think we lost them. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. Ow. Ow. We'd got the briefcase with the MI High tape back, but we were lost. Our only clue was Dee's message. Head east to the hut and don't lose your bottle. Here's the hut. Here's the hut. Ah, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a vehicle behind us. Find that bottle, bottle, don't lose your bottle. Get the bottle. What's in the bottle? What's in the bottle? Hold the situation. There's nothing else inside that you're up. There's something inside that bottle. Pour it out. There's something in that bottle. A secret hidden compartment. Ingenious. Dee had left a map to help his escape, but with spying, nothing is simple. X marks the spot. There is no X. Look, do you think this sees something? Yeah, 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 there. Under that light, there's an X there. Light from my UV pen showed up invisible ink on the map. A secret tunnel that would help us get to our new destination marked by X. We don't want to go back down there past the farm. Yeah, we'll go through the we... tunnel. We can avoid all the men. So the tunnel should be next to the path on our first right. Yeah. yeah. Now we had an escape plan. X marked safety. My name is uh, Dave Thomas, and I'm from a company called Spy Games. And today, we're promoting the film Taken. We've got a number of journalists that have come along today to see what it's like to experience being a hostage. 
obviously if you think of taking away your luxuries from somebody so making people feel wet cold uncomfortable and also a little sort of torture which is the mental torture such as dry uh, dry noise or white noise as they call it and you're getting that crackling sound and literally after several hours that will really start to play on your mind and make you feel very uncomfortable the other classic scenario is holding up the wall with your hands up with the fingertips not the palm of the hand that's just too easy with the actual fingers itself up against the van or up against the wall like so and the legs far enough back which actually creates pressure on the fingertips and all that's holding you up is your fingers. In reality, you could do it for hours, days, weeks, depending on how long you're gonna be held captive for. The idea is to disorientate them. Get them up, move them around. They don't know where they're going, don't know what they're doing. Move them around the place. They just don't know where they are and what they're up to. Sit, hands on the table. What's your name? Family. Married. No, it's not our question, is it? You trying to be f***ing funny? Did I just f***ing make a joke? Think you're a f***ing tough guy, do you? What we did then was look to interrogate them. Now, obviously, there's various different ways to look to interrogate somebody. If you think of the good cop, bad cop routine, similar to that type of scenario. It may well be you get a very aggressive interviewer who's really bashing the table to try to get the information out of them, or it may well be you've got a quite a seductive female who again is trying to extract information. Depends on the characters and the individuals as to which one's gonna work for you. Combination of the two, taking them back into stress positions, getting them back out again, various different ways to literally break down their morale and break them down as an individual to gain the intelligence and gain the information that you need. Lay down. The van trick, yeah, that's a bit of a classic one there. Again, you're looking to try that mental pressure on somebody. Obviously, in reality, you're looking to actually squash their head for real if they don't give you the information that you want. Let them have it. Lunch is served. <laughs> <laughs> So we're going to go through various different unarmed combat techniques, martial arts techniques, which is shown very heavily in the film, a lot of pistol techniques and tactics to see what you do if you're going to storm somewhere, as Liam Neeson did, to take out the enemy, take out the terrorists or the captors, and obviously try and release the hostage. So a lot of tactics, a lot of weapons, a lot of hands-on stuff this afternoon. As you see them on the telly, as you're coming into the room, you're looking around the place, because when you're doing room clearance, literally, you're ready to fire at a moment's notice. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to go down there and the instructor's going to walk me through yeah, yeah. a place where I have to go and save my hostage. Now there are five armed men down there, four of whom are going to come at me with guns, and one of whom I've got to disarm and take the knife off of him before I save my hostage. Okay, here we go. Help! Uh, yeah. oh. Get him down, get him down. Okay, he's getting hostage. 